G'day, well as you can see I'm in the car park and it's the Heliseeker car park. We're about to fly into the hills to chase a seeker around for another um, year's raw. So um, yeah, we'll get into it and um, yeah, hopefully have some footage and um, get to see some animals. It was a bit of a quiet raw last year so we're going to the same block. Um, so yeah, hopefully we hear something and see something and can get some good footage. But um, yeah, we'll see you in there. Just like that, we're here, into it again. <clears throat> well, how's it going? Well, just going better for an afternoon hunt today. Copped a bit of an injury yesterday, so I um, had a bit of a sleep in this morning. And the first, first real day the sun's been out since we've been here, so Oh, just before midday I went for a bit of a walk and sat on a high point and read a magazine and soaked up a bit of the sun and in the gully that I was overlooking I heard a couple of territory calls from two different stags I think and uh, a single call which is what I've been waiting for so they're all sort of in the same gully so went back to camp had some lunch packed up and now I'm off so, um, yeah, fingers crossed it's just not long after midday because I thought it might take a little bit to get where I'm going. But yeah, we'll get down in the gully and see what can happen. cool. That was really cool. I just want his dad. Oh. 
Well, that didn't go exactly how I planned, but that's the fun of seeker hunting. I went down the, um, sort of down a ridge, upwind, oh sorry, downwind of where the couple of stags were roaring, and um, made the afternoon sidling along, wind in my favour, and um, not a single amount of noise. Just before I was about to come home, one roared and I went down, he was on the other side of the valley, so I went, quickly made it on down, and come up the other side, and I was getting to the, um, the top of the ridge, and I bloody slipped over and sent some stones clattering, so I waited for a bit, and just got to the top of the ridge and an animal crashed off, so that was probably the staggy. But uh, on my way back up through the bush, there's been one roaring on the other side of the valley just to tease me where I come from. He's been, he's probably give, given five sets of calls in the last hour, which is a bloody heap. So it's been a fair distance over there where he is. So I don't know whether I'll have a go at him tomorrow or not. We'll just see what the weather does, but I will. Back to camp, brew on, and come in tea time. I think. Well, fucking hell. I fucking missed that on camera. I'll just check there's not another one. Fuck, I'll be 
been roaring at this guy for ages. And I had to be fucking around changing the camera battery. And I thought he was opposite me there. I'd seen a young stag come round below me. It might have been this guy that had seen gone back. And I thought it was on the other side, so I was just sidling down here so I could maybe look across on that face. I made a slight move and he ran out of there and ran over there and he stopped just in there. And I gave a little whistle and he stopped and that was just enough and I fired and he tumbled down the hill. <sighs> so yeah. Whew. Let's go see what he is. I, I said, I said I wasn't going to shoot anything but a trophy this trip, but again, I said that last year too. I've been turned a liar. But today we're going home. It's the chopper ride this morning. This is the last ditch hunt. I think I did that last year too. I got a stag on the last day, but this is literally the last morning. So he was just here. He was just here. Or actually here, I'd say. Yep, there's his marks. He just run across there. And he's fallen down in there. So it looks like a bit of shittiness. Here he is. Oh, he's only a fucking little one. Maybe he was the little one and not the big one after all. Fuck it. Bugger. Oh well, here he is, fuck it, I did see a little one come round below me onto the same face and I let him go because I didn't think he was the big one, and in the excitement when this guy ran across I thought fuck, no maybe it's the big one, well the other stag that was roaring so well. Well, if this one was running, he would have taken the other roaring one with him anyway. I don't know where I'm going to find a flat, stop, flat spot to do some butchering. Well, this is going to be fun. Just a little big four pointer or maybe a six. Shit. Where am I gonna put them? Yeah, the fun begins. Ah, what's the time? Half nine. No, half, half seven. Oh well, I'll just see if I can drag him up onto this flat or down here somewhere. Maybe it might be, oh, whoops, maybe it might be easier if we just go down there. He's going to be falling down anyway.
Well, that's that. The end of this trip today, I'm done and dusted. I haven't actually got probably a hell of a lot of footage. Um, had actually, the weather hasn't been that flash. Um, some of the days have been fine, but it's been blowing a gale, so it's hard to stalk when you can't hear anything because the trees are bloody swaying and snapping and blowing a gale. But still had a good time. There hasn't really been any roaring. The um, I've only been in here for about seven days and the stags only started single calling yesterday, so a bit of a pain we're sort of going out when we should be coming in. But hey, you don't know these things. So yeah, had a good bit of excitement this morning anyway, um, chasing that stag and ended up shooting a satellite one by mistake, so that's the way things go. But yeah, so if this all, if I get some stuff put together, I hope it turns out alright and hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you on the next time. Cheers.